Hey everybody, we're gonna put a rear end in the budget Nova. Finally getting back on this build, been a little while, but this car came with the rear end housing in it. Now the axles are just kind of sitting in there and uh, there was no caps on the housing, no carrier or gear, or at least rain gear, the pinions in it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this housing and rear end out, at least bring the stuff out. I've got another 10 bolt we're gonna put in here that I got from a subscriber for free. That's the best price ever. Thank you, Mr. Ronnie. Now, first thing to do, get the old one out. All right, first thing we have to do is get it off these dollies. I'm going to jack it up, pull the dollies out from under it, and then we're going to start taking the uh, leaf springs loose after I put some jack stands under it to hold it up. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get these shackles loose. Now, if I can't get them loose, I'm just going to cut them because they're homemade, just flat steel bar. Uh, I haven't sprayed any kind of PB blast or anything on the nuts yet. I'm going to see if they'll come off real quick without doing that. If they won't, I'll try a little bit of PB blaster. And if they won't, I'll try a Sawzall blaster. That'll get it done. The threads are buggered up on it, so I doubt it's going to come off real easy. But we're going to try. Yeah, this lady's been hit with a hammer. That probably is not going to come off. Alright, well, we can try the top. It looks pretty clean. That's probably going to be the way to go. Now one of the real tricks of getting these things loose is getting the bolt to go out because it's going to be in a bind probably. I don't want to come loose. So now it's time to get the front leaf spring perch bolts out. That are into the body. You don't take the bolt out. You don't try to take the bolt out for the leaf springs. That's that's terrible. Uh, it's hard to get out most of the time. But there are some problems with uh, trying to get these bolts out. But the little clip nuts are bad about breaking off. So I'm gonna try to get these out. Hope the clip nuts don't break. Hopefully they come out pretty easy. All right, that's one. That's two. And that's three. So these three came out pretty good. And that front leaf spring should be completely free now. Yep. Right. Okay, so I think the only thing left holding it in is the 
the only thing connected to the car is the rubber brake line that goes to the rear end. And I'm going to cut that because it's no good. Maybe I'm not. Okay. And I think everything else is disconnected. Emergency brake cables are disconnected. The uh, shocks are disconnected. The leaf springs are disconnected. All right. Let's see if we can lower this down a little bit. And maybe roll it out on the jack without creating too big of a mess. Shocks are going to be a problem. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Anybody need a pair of broken air shocks? All right. Now what am I going to do with it? All right. So I'm going to snatch the axles out of this, so it's lighter and easier to move when I'm done. Taking what I need off of it. Well, I say I am. I might not. And now what I need is I need these front spring perches because I'm gonna clean those up and reuse them. I'm not sure I'm gonna reuse anything else. I gotta look and see if I've got a set of uh bottom brackets for the for the leaf springs. I'm not sure if I do or not. All right, when you're taking something this rusty apart, you've got threads on there and they're not boogered up. Best thing to do is get all the dirt out of them the best you can. Dirt and rust anyway. My huh, brush is kind of wore out. I'll spray a little blaster on it. And I'm going to hope that this impact will knock it loose. There we go. Alright, now we have to do is clean that up, paint it, it's ready to go. Okay, so I don't have a set of the lower perches, so I'm going to reuse these traction bars. Now i got to get them apart. I'm going to flip this thing over, I think, to make that easier. But I probably need to take the shocks loose first. Hopefully I can flip this over without hurting myself. Not so much for having a nice floor, huh? There we go. That didn't hurt at all. I'm going to do the same thing with these. Only one of them on this side has exposed threads. The other ones are pretty, pretty much flush with the nut. And the same thing on this side. But these are a lot rustier than the other stuff I've been taking apart. We got enough PV blaster on there to get the cops caught on us. Not gonna happen. All right. Let's see how it likes my snap-on air air gun trying to come off. Well, they're pretty tight. I better turn the muffler off. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now I don't know what brand traction bars these were originally. They're old enough to probably have been Lakewood or yeah, something like that. And they got some yellow paint on them. 
So there's a good deal, good chance that's what the deal is. But I'm going to clean them up, paint them, and we're going to reuse them. Okay, while the paint on the leaf springs and traction bars is dry, I'm going to take the rest of this old exhaust off. I think. Wrong size. See if we got the right size now. A flathead screw, are you kidding me? Man. Yeah, I mean. Okay, so I got a bunch of pretty parts here now. This is the rear end I'm gonna use. I got this from Mr. Ronnie, sent me I got the engine from and the seat and he gave it to me, and he didn't know anything about the condition of it. He just knew it was a 10 bolt out of a Nova. Well, what it is, is an eight and a half inch 10 bolt out of a 72 Nova. I know that because the axle code and the date, uh, can't remember which side it's on. Anyway, it's supposed to be a 72 10 bolt, eight and a half inch, which it is, and it's got a 342 gear and a posi in it by the code. However, I pulled the cover off, there's no posi, but there is a factory 342 gear. So it's weird that the posi's not there, but whatever. It's great and it's free, so that's the best price ever. Now, I got my leaf springs cleaned up and painted. I took these, I took a uh, wire brush and a big grinder, ran over those with that, and then put a coat of paint on them. My traction bars are also cleaned up and painted flat black. Now, I did the same thing with those, hit them with a the grinder, and then I put some paint on them. Now, I use the Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer, and then I put flat black over that, so it kind of looks the same. The Rust Reformer can go on over Rust. It's a great product. I'm not sponsored or endorsed by many anyway, but I've used a ton of it, and it really works well. I've been using it for a few years now. Uh, I also painted my leaf spring perches, the front leaf spring pocket. I have my new energy suspension leaf spring. You can see there, these are already in there. Uh, they didn't have black, so I got red. And then I also have from uh, classic headquarters. I've got my new leaf spring shackles and bushings for the rear. Uh, the front leaf spring bushing I did not change. They're painted about to change and I don't have any. These are in good condition so why would I? Now, um, we're going to get the leaf springs hung out of the car. I did have one of my uh, spring nuts break off so I put a new one of those in there. Uh, fixed that so we're going to get the leaf, these mounted on the leaf springs, get them hung out of the car and then we're going to get the rear end set in place and try to get everything installed. Noticed the emergency brake cable was coming out the back of the rear, and I was kind of puzzled. 
Well then, the short brake shoe is on the rear, the long one's on the front. Somebody has actually swapped the backing plates from side to side for some reason on this rear end. Now I'll have to pull the axles out to do that, but I'm gonna put new fluid in the rear end anyway. So, uh, and check the bearings. So I guess, uh, I guess I gotta pull it apart no matter what. Okay, I'm about to let it down. I don't know if these uh, tires are going to fit or not. they got plenty of room on the inside. Not sure if they're going to clear on the outside. I did not check the back spacing on these wheels. Not too bad. All right, guys, well, we got a rear end under here. Now, it is sitting up a little higher than I thought it would sit up, and I'm not sure why. I'll have to do some measuring, figure that out, see what the problem is. I don't see the spring binding up on anything, and the other side isn't sitting up quite this high. It's uh, about an inch lower, so I'm not sure what the problem is there. I'll do some measuring and figure it out. Now, um, I do have to reverse the brakes on here, or the backing plates. Uh, the emergency brake cables are pointing backwards, which is weird. They should be pointing forward. Um, so the back and plates, for whatever reason, have been swapped around. Don't know why, but it's the way it is, and we'll figure it out. Now, uh, the brakes I haven't done yet, obviously, because I'm going to do one video with all the brakes. Uh, mass cylinder, all new brake lines, front brakes, rear brakes, all at the same time. Now, i got to do the subframe for this thing. I've got the transmission sitting over here on the bench. That's going together probably in the next day or two. And... Hopefully get some more videos out, have this thing running in a week or two. See you guys next video.